Hello, Mike Ako, and happy Valentine's, happy Valentine's Day to you and your Ohana. Um, mahalo for joining today's Monday, February 14th, 2022 at 1.20 p.m. AEN committee hearing in committee room 224 and video conferencing, which includes the audio and video of remote participants that's being streamed live on YouTube. You'll find links to the viewing options for all Senate meetings on the live and on-demand video page of the legislature's website at capital.hawaii.gov. And in the unlikely event that we have to abruptly end this hearing due to major technical difficulties, the committee will reconvene to discuss any outstanding business at 1.30 p.m. on Wednesday, February 16th uh, during our AEN video, video conference time slot and also a public notice will be posted on the legislature's website. For you folks who are testifying, all testifier audio will be muted and video disabled until shortly before it's your turn to testify. And because of our 90 minute time limit for each of the AEN hearings, there'll be a two minute time limit for all testifiers. And we'll have a virtual countdown timer on the Zoom screen. So please be aware of the timer. I'll be announcing only the testifiers who will be providing testimony via Zoom. And for the complete list of testifiers, along with all the written testimony, please go to the legislature's website. You'll find a link on the status page for the measure. And we also apologize that the closed captioning does not accurately transcribe the names. Okay, so the first measure we have is SB 3181, uh, relating to agriculture, establishes a local agriculture transportation cost reimbursement incentive program to be administered by the Department of Agriculture to reimburse eligible pro producers for a portion of the producer's costs to transport agricultural commodities. And first up on this measure is the Department of Ag. Aloha and good afternoon, Chair, Vice Chair, and members of the committee, Phyllis Shimabukuro Geyser, Hawaii Department of Agriculture. We stand on our written testimony supporting the intent and available to answer questions. Mahalo. Thank you. Mahalo, Phyllis. Next is Mike Munakata from the Ulupono Initiative. Good afternoon, Chair Gabbard, Vice Chair Nishihara, and members of the committee. Mike Munakata on behalf of the Ulupono Initiative. We'll stand on our testimony and support. Thank you very much, Chair. Thank you, Micah. Next is Brian Miyamoto from the Hawaii Farm Bureau. Not present, Chair. Next is Eric Tanoi from the HFNA. Eric, are you with us? Okay. Maybe uh, we can, members, are there any questions on this measure? Yes, Senator. Yeah, I just had a question. Um, is it um, specifically about agricultural transportation, but it's not necessarily uh, also specific to um, food? Food, right? This is also encompassing any agricultural products. I guess that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Any other questions? Okay. Moving on to SB 2944. Uh, Relating to ag lands prohibits the use of important ag lands and lands with class A productivity ratings for waste disposal. And on this one, we start off with the Department of Ag. Aloha Chair, Vice Chair, and members of the committee. The department stands on its written testimony uh, in support of the intent and uh, we make a recommendation in our testimony. We're available to answer questions. Mahalo. Thank you, Phyllis. Next is Mike Munakata from Ulupono. Thank you, Chair. Ulupono will stand on its testimony and support. I believe um, we're supportive of the DOA amendment as well um, regarding adding B lands into this consideration. Thank you. Mahalo. Next is Brian Miyamoto from the Hawaii Farm Bureau. Not present, Chair. Thank you. Okay, that's it, members. Do we have any questions on 2944? Let's see here. Okay, moving on to SB 2972, uh, 
relating to animal industry special fund and deposits revenue from the state veterinary laboratory and animal control branch into the animal industry special fund and allows funds from the special fund to be expended to make laboratory improvements. First up, Department of Ag. Aloha, the department stands on its written testimony in support and available to answer questions. Mahalo. Thank you, Phyllis. Next, Brian Miyamoto from the Hawaii Farm Bureau. Not present, Chair. Thank you. And next is Nicole Galassi from the Hawaii Cattlemen's Council. Not present, Chair. Okay, thank you. Okay, members, any questions? Okay, moving on <clears throat> to... SB 2974 relating to pesticides. Uh, this measure updates the membership of the advisory committee on pesticides to replace representatives from the sugar and pineapple industries with representatives of the coffee and diversified agricultural industries. Department of Ag, first up. Aloha. Department stands on this written testimony in strong support and available to answer questions. Thank you. Thank you. Next is Eric Tanoi from HFNA. No, that's the chair. Okay, members, are there any questions? Also have testimony uh, in support from uh, CTAR and also the Hawaii Coffee Association. Okay. Let's see here. Next is SB 2969, establishing an agriculture emergency special fund to provide loans to farmers and ranchers for disaster recovery. Uh, the Attorney General. Uh, good afternoon, Chair, Vice Chair, and members of the committee. Alison Cotto, Deputy Attorney General. Uh, this bill makes an appropriation to the newly established special fund, but there also needs to be an appropriation out of the special fund with appropriate authority for the Department of Agriculture to expend the money. Our written testimony contains a, a new section that can be inserted into the bill to address this. Uh, the remainder of our comments are technical corrections to the wording of the bill and are detailed in our written submission. Thank you for the opportunity to comment. Uh, please let me know if you have any questions. Mahalo, okay. Allison. Awesome. Next is Department of Ag. Aloha, Chair, members of the committee. Uh, the department stands on its written testimony. We support the measure um, uh, and we prefer language in uh, Senate Bill 3020. We offer comments and a recommendation. Mahalo. Thank you, Phyllis. Next is Brian Miyamoto from Hawaii Farm Bureau. Good afternoon, Chair Gabbard. So I turn to the committee. First of all, Chair, I apologize. I had connectivity problems, um, so I'm not sure if you had called for previous bills. If you do have a written testimony uh, for this particular measure, the Hawaii Farm Bureau will stand on its written testimony in support. Thank you, Chair. Thank you, Brian. Next, Mike Munakata, Ulupono. Thank you, Chair. Lupona will stand on its testimony in support. Okay, members, are there any questions on 2969? Okay. Let's see here. Moving on to SB 2992. Relating to ag establishes the agriculture investment special fund to support local ag producers. And Department of Ag is up first. Aloha Chair, Vice Chair, members of the committee. The department stands on its written testimony, uh, strongly supporting the measure, and we offer uh, supporting comments in our written testimony. We're available to answer any questions. Mahalo. Thank you. Thank you, Phyllis. Next is Mike Munakata from Ulupono. Good afternoon, Chair Gabbard, Vice Chair and HDR, members of the committee. Mike Munakata on behalf of the Ulupono Initiative. Uh, we'll stand on our testimony with strong support of this measure. Um, I think 
I think this is an important bill to start to move um, agriculture industry support in the right direction. Um, knowing that we'll, the, the ag industry, you know, was a victim to some of the economic downturn that we experienced last year. Um, a lot of those resources that used to support industry were um, abolished um, through, through items such as the barrel tax. And what this bill seeks to do is to create a dedicated resource that could really show the state's investment into the agricultural industry. Um, we do have a couple of recommendations within this bill chair that um, we'd like to work with, with you on and the committee on if need be, but really trying to establish a, a permanent program within the department that can provide this dedicated funding to industry. And it can support in various ways. Um, we also think that if you know if a special fund is is kind of viewed um, as not necessary for this program, it, it may be a general funded program moving forward that um, you know potentially could be within the DOA's base budget. But um, just wanted to uh, um, offer up our support for this measure, and should this bill move forward, we'd be willing to work with the committee on any type of language or what the program can look like. Thank you, Chair. Thank you, Mike. Okay, members, that's it on this measure. Any questions? Moving on, SB 2998 relating to recycling requires the Department of Health to implement the auditor's recommendations for the deposit beverage container program, including developing a risk-based selection process to select reports submitted by distributors and redemption centers for audit. And first up, Department of Ag. Wait a minute. Sorry, Environmental Health Administration. Good afternoon, Chair Gabbard and uh, Vice Chair Nishihara. My name is Michael Burke. I'm with the Department of Health's Office of Solid Waste Management. Uh, we submitted a written testimony in support of SB 2998, and we stand on our written testimony in support. Uh, I'm here if you have any questions. Great. Thank you, Michael. And that is the only testifier on this measure. Members, do you have any questions for Mr. Burke? Okay, moving on to SB 3273. Let's see here. Uh, this measure uh, related to Department of Environmental Protection establishes a Department of Environmental Protection by July 1st, 26, creates a Department of Environmental Protection Working Group to address the logistics required for the state to establish a Department of Environmental Protection. Requires the Working Group to submit a report to the legislature prior to the 2025 regular session. And first up is Kathleen Mitchell from the Board of Water Supply. Not present, Chair. Next is Pua Ayu from DLNR. Hello, Mr. Chair, members. I'm Pua Ayin from the Department of Land and Natural Resources. We submitted comments and we'll stand on our written testimony. Mostly we have concerns with the timeline for this um, measure as well as um, the lack of budget resources to carry it out. Thank you very much. Hello, Pua. Next is the uh, Environmental Health Administration, Department of Health. Good afternoon, Chair Gabbard, Vice Chair Nishihara. Again, this is Michael Burke with the Department of Health. Uh, we submitted a written testimony on SB 3273 with, uh, in support, and uh, we stand on our written testimony submitted. I'm here if you have questions. Thank you. Hello, Michael. Next is Mary Alice Evans and Carl Muir from the Office of Planning and Sustainable Development. Good afternoon, Chair and Vice Chair and members. Uh, the Office of Planning stands on its written testimony with comments. We would note that Hawaii's sustainability, climate change mitigation, and climate change adaptation requires a multi-agency approach. And we think that the legislature has provided uh, for that with previous legislation. Thank you. Thank you, Mary Alice. Next, Scott Glenn from Hawaii State Energy Office. Hello, Chair Galbert, Vice Chair Nishihara, and members of the committee. The Energy Office stands on its testimony with comments. Thank you. Thank you, Scott. Members, are there any questions? Seeing none, we'll move on to the final measure on this uh, 120 agenda, SB 3364, 
relating to coastal lands requires the Legislative Reference Bureau to conduct a five-year study on the coastal lands in the state that are affected by impending sea level rise. And we do not have any uh, Zoom testifiers. So no questions on this one. So uh, IT, if we could go to the decision-making, uh, I mean, to the workroom, uh, we'll have a discussion about some decision-making. Mahalo. Okay, aloha my kako, and we're reconvening the 1 o'clock AEN agenda uh, for some decision making after having conferred with my members. We'll start off with SB 3181, establishing a local agriculture transportation cost reimburse reimbursement incentive program. Uh, let's see. So the chair's uh, recommendation on this one will be to pass as is. Uh, any discussion or concerns, members? If not, Chair votes aye. Vice Chair, the vote. Vice Chair goes aye. Uh, Senator Ocasio. Aye. Senator Rose. Aye. Senator Vela. Senator Vela. Excuse. Motion carried. Thank you, members. Next is SB 2944 relating to ag lands, um, prohibiting the use of important ag lands uh, with class A productivity ratings for waste disposal. Okay, on this one, uh, what I've decided to do is uh, on, to amend this and uh, page two, line 14 to page three, line five and basically put in there that um, this language provided that waste disposal facilities shall not be permitted on lands with soil classified by the land study bureaus detailed land classification as overall master productivity rating class A and B. So we're adding the B class lands to this measure. Okay, any concerns, questions, members? Uh, chair votes aye. Vice Chair goes aye. Senator Ocasio. Aye. Senator Rhodes. Aye. Senator Favela. Excuse. Motion is adopted. Thank you, members. SB 2972, uh, depositing revenue from the state vet laboratory and animal control branch into the animal industry special fund. Okay. On this one, uh, yeah, uh, Chair's recommendation will be to pass the measure as is. Any concerns or questions? Chair votes aye. Vice Chair? Vice Chair goes aye. Senator Ocasio? Aye. Senator Rhodes? Aye. Senator Favela? Excuse. Motion's adopted. Uh, thank you, members. Uh, moving on to SB 2974, updating the membership of the Advisory Committee on Pesticides. Uh, to replace representatives from the sugar and pineapple industries. And on this one, the chair's recommendation would be to uh, pass the measure with amendments. Uh, since we have the Hawaii Farm Bureau Federation on the committee, we'd like to add a representative from the Hawaii Farmers Union United as well. And I think, uh, Senator Costa, you wanted to add something to the committee report? Yeah, could you please add um, a note that We'd like to see um, a representative from the Department of Health or a separate representative that specifically has expertise and knowledge in pesticide um, from the from the health perspective, whether it's a physician or part of the uh, Department of Health, that they specifically have knowledge in uh, pesticide effects and um, adverse reactions, etc. Makes sense. Thank you very much, Senator Casio. Yeah. Okay. Any other concerns? Um, chair votes aye. Vice Chair. The members present, uh, with the exception of Senator Favela, 
any members with uh, reservations or in opposition? Seeing none, motions adopted. Thank you, members. Um, moving on to SB 2969, establishing an Ag Emergency Special Fund to provide loans to farmers and ranchers for disaster recovery. On this uh, measure, the chair's recommendation will be to pass with amendments from the Department of the Attorney General. We'll be amending this by adding a new section three to the bill um, to be read as, as follows. Section three, there's appropriated out of the agricultural emergency special fund, the sum of blank or so much thereof as may be necessary for fiscal years 2022, 2023 for the purpose of this act. The sum appropriated shall be expended by the Department of Agriculture for the purposes of this act. And there are some also technical corrections that need to be made as well. Members, any concerns? Chair votes aye, Vice Chair. Uh, exclusion of Senator Pavella. Uh, all members, I mean, any voting with reservations or reservations or uh, opposition? Seeing that, motion's adopted. Thank you, members. Next is SB 2992 relating to Ag, establishing the Ag Investment Special Fund for local Ag producers. Okay, let's see here. Uh, for this one, Chair's recommendation will be to pass it as is. Concerns? Chair votes aye. Vice Chair? Yeah, the members present with exclusion of Senator Pavella, any members voting reservations or in opposition, seeing none, motions adopted. Thank you, members. Next is SB 2998, uh, recycling. Okay. Um, Requiring, requiring the Department of Health to implement the auditor's recommendations for uh, the deposit beverage container program, including developing a risk-based selection process to select reports sub sub submitted by distributors and redemption centers for audit. Uh, any concerns? Chair's recommendation is to pass as is. Chair votes aye, Vice Chair. Okay, of the members present, uh, any voting in opposition or in uh, reservations? Seeing that, motion's adopted. Thank you, members. SB 3273, uh, establishing a Department of Environmental Protection by July 1st, 26. Um, okay, on this one, uh, <coughs> the chair's recommendation would be to pass with amendments that clarify the composition of the working group uh, with the suggestion made by the Board of Water Supply. So it would require the Department of Environmental Protection report to a seven member board in a new standalone section added to the HRS entitled Board Oversight that provides uh, the Department of Environmental Protection will report to a seven member board that consists of one member appointed by each of the following. One, the Office of the Governor, two, the Hawaii State Senate, three, the Hawaii State House of Reps, four, the Honolulu City Council, five, the Kauai County Council, six, the Hawaii County Council, and seven, the Maui County Council. Uh, I think this is a, a great idea to have such a cross-section statewide uh, of everyone that's, yeah. So any concerns or questions? Okay, so chair votes aye, vice chair. Of the members present, anyone voting with opposition or in reservation, seeing none, motions adopted. Thank you, members. And for the final measure on this uh, 120 agenda, SB 3364, uh, requiring the Legislative Reference Bureau to conduct a five year study on coastal lands. Uh, for this one, uh, the chair uh, needs a little bit more time. So uh, talk story with the stakeholders regarding their input. So we'll defer decision-making on SB 3364 until Wednesday, February 16th at 2 p.m. in room 224 and also video conferencing. And with that, that ends the 120 AEM agenda. Mahalo members. Adjourned.
Hello, Mike Akko, and uh, mahalo for joining today's Monday, February 14th, uh, 2022, uh, 2 p.m. AEN committee hearing in uh, committee room 224 and also video conferencing, uh, which includes the audio and video of remote participants uh, that's being streamed live on YouTube. Uh, you will find the links to viewing options for all Senate meetings on the live and on-demand video page of the legislature's website. In the unlikely event that we have to abruptly end this hearing due to major technical difficulties, the committee will reconvene to discuss any outstanding business at 1.30 p.m. on Wednesday, February 16th, during our AEN video conference time slot, and a public notice will be uh, posted. Let's make sure they're in order, yes. Yeah. 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 So uh, happy Valentine's Day to you and your Ohana. And so we'll start off, uh, there'll be no testifiers today as we've already had the public hearing and this will be just our decision making. So starting off with Senate Bill 2977, relating to egg laying hens, requires farm owners or operators to confine egg laying hens in accordance with the standards established in this measure. Effective June 30th, 2027, prohibits a business owner or operator from selling shell eggs or egg products that are produced by egg laying hens that were confined in a cruel manner. Okay, on this one, uh, members, the recommendation will be to pass with amendments uh, to be effective January 1st, 2025. And the amendments that I'm introducing, I feel it's a, it's a win for farmers and for animals. Uh, what I've done is uh, we've increased the exemption to now include, excuse me, increase the exemption to now exclude family farmers, which aligns with the USDA's American Egg Board Family Farm Exemption. So since there's now a larger exemption to remove concern that this bill would affect family farmers, uh, we can now move the timeline to the date that I originally introduced, and that was January 1st, 2025. So, the amendment is going to change the exemption to apply to a flock of 75,000 instead of 30,000. Okay. So that the language reads, quote, this chapter shall not apply to a farm owner or operator who exclusively produces shell eggs with an annual egg production from a flock of 75,000 or fewer egg laying hens that are confined in a cruel manner. And I think this, uh, basically will address some of the concerns that we had from in the hearing from the smaller egg farmers. Yeah. Any questions? Okay, so um, concerns, we'll go ahead and, uh, so that's the amendment, the uh, chair votes aye, vice chair. Uh, you're muted. Sorry. No, I don't think so. Mine doesn't show mute. It's on now. Okay, Sandra Ocasio. Oh, reservation. Thank you. Okay, Senator Rhodes. Aye. Senator Favela. Excuse. Motion is adopted. Thank you, members. SB 2054 on, uh, assesses a climate change mitigation impact fee on every customer who rents, leases, or utilizes a rental motor vehicle establishes a climate change mitigation special fund, specifies that the impact fees collected shall be deposited to the credit of the general fund. And uh, on this one, uh, Senator Rhodes, you had expressed your concerns uh, in the hearing about whether EVs are exempted, and they are. Uh, the actual language says it's just, uh, the fee would apply only to gas powered vehicles. Great, yeah. thanks. Yep. So the chair's recommendation will be to pass this with amendments outlined in the testimony of the attorney general. Um, proposed section 171-AC HRS should be amended to have all the fees deposited to the credit of the climate change mitigation special fund and eliminate the deposit of any of the fees into the general fund on pages three, line six through seven. And then in part C, all fees collected pursuant to subsection A shall be deposited to the credit of the Climate Change Mitigation Special Fund established pursuant to Section 171-8. Okay. All right. Any concerns? Chair votes aye. Vice Chair. 
of the members present any voting with reservations or um, objections. Okay, motion's adopted. Thank you, members. And moving on to SB 368 relating to cesspool conversion removes the limitation on specific types of wastewater systems to which cesspools must be upgraded or converted and instead requires a cesspool to be upgraded or converted to a wastewater system approved by the Department of Health. Okay, members, on this one, uh, my recommendation would be passes with the amendments as follows. Um, Page two, lines 19 and 20, shall read, quote, a cesspool treatment unit system or septic system or other system approved by the department or connection of a cesspool to a sewerage system. And then next is page three, line five, it shall read, A, any cesspool located within 500 feet of a shoreline, drinking water well, or sensitive body of water as defined by department rule on real property that is sold or whose ownership is transferred on or after January 1st, 2024. And then finally, page three, lines eight and nine shall read, one, upgraded or converted to a septic system or aerobic treatment unit system or other system approved by the department. Okay? Any concerns? <clears throat> chair votes aye. Vice Chair. Any members present voting with opposition or reservation? Seeing not, motions adopted. Thank you, members. Next is SB 2353, creating exclusion from income tax for the lesser of a percentage of gross annual income or an amount of gross annual income earned by a farmer from farming activities. Okay, on this one, um, yeah, I'm still working on this. I know Senator Costa, you had some issues on this, but I still don't uh, haven't made a decision on. I need a little bit more time, um, so I'd like to defer decision making on this one till Wednesday, February 16, 2022, 2 p.m. in room 224, and also video conference. And then on 2357. SB 2357, uh, authorizing the uh, special purpose revenue bonds to Maui Grown Coffee. Uh, chair's recommendation will be to pass as is. Any discussion? Chair votes aye. Vice Chair. Any members present uh, voting of reservations or opposition? Seeing none, motions adopted. Okay, thank you, members. Next is SB 2837, establishing a spay and neuter special fund and allows funds from income tax checkup deposited into the special fund. What a great idea, Senator Rhodes. Just very creative. <laughs> um, hang on. Sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah. Can I note my reservations on the last bill? We are going fast, so I missed that one. Yeah. Reservations yeah. on the last. SB 2357. Three, five, seven. Seven. Can you do that, Clarence? Senator Nishara, thank you. Okay, she's changed the board. Okay. Yeah, okay. reservations. Okay. Okay, thank you. Sorry, Chair. Uh, uh, that's, that's fine. On uh, 2837 on the spay and neutering, uh, I'd like to incorporate the amendments from the uh, Department of the Attorney General and language appropriating funds. Uh, there is a, a, appropriated out of the spay and neuter special fund the sum of blank or so much thereof as may be necessary for fiscal year 2022-2023 to carry out the purposes of this act. This appropriated shall be expended by the Department of Budget and Finance. And I'd also like to add an amendment that was requested by the Stonewall Caucus of the Democratic Party. The current language is on page 8, line 16 says, the case of a joint return of a husband and wife. And I'd like to request the amendment, page eight, line 16, saying the case of a joint return, uh, cross out husband and wife and put married couple, unquote. Okay. Any questions or concerns? All right. Chair votes aye. Vice Chair. Best with amendments, any members present, uh, uh, voting in opposition or reservations, seeing none, motions adopted. Thank you, members. SB 2950, 
imposes an inspection fee on certain imported ag products to be deposited into a special fund and expended by the Department of Ag. Okay. Um, also, I'd like to pass this uh, with an amendment from the Department of the Attorney General, uh, Section 1, uh, Section 150A-5-3 of the HRS Hawaii Revised Statutes is to be amended by amending subsection B to read as follows. B would read, the fee shall be assessed and collected on the net weight of the imported freight computed on the basis of five cents for every one pound of freight or part thereof brought into the state. So we deleted the 75 cents for every 1,000 pounds. Any concerns, questions? Chair votes aye, Vice Chair. Um, members present, any vote in opposition or in with reservations, seeing none, motions adopted. Thank you, members. And finally, SB 2988, uh, relating to the Department of Ag appropriates funds for the control and mitigation of a two-line spittle bug and for recovery efforts for lands damaged by the two-line spittle bug. And the chair's recommendation will be to pass this measure as is. Any concerns? Chair votes the vice chair. Of the members present, any voting with reservations or in opposition, seeing none, motions adopted. Okay, and then we have uh, the health committee. Uh, is the chair here? I see is there. He is. Hi, chair. Yes. Senator Kiohokalole is still in our hearing, our one fifteen oh. hearing. Okay. Um. <laughs> What are our options here? He's right on the last bill coming around, so he's going to be voting in a little bit. Okay. Oh, want to hold on? I'll, I'll text him and let him know. Okay. Uh, members, if you don't mind, we'll just take a brief recess. We just had that one bill on pesticides that we were doing jointly. Is that all right? Thank, Thank you. you. Mahalo. Okay. Hello, Mike Ako, and welcome to the two o'clock joint hearing of the AEN committee and also the health committee. We have uh, one measure on this agenda for decision making. It is SB 2629 relating to pesticides, it requires the Department of Ag in consultation with the Department of Health to develop and implement a one time pesticide disposal collection program for a duration to be determined by the department requires the Department of Ag to convene a steering committee to guide and monitor the pesticide disposal collection program. Okay, so we, uh, we conferred with members. We've got a, a couple amendments we'd like to add here. From the Department of Health, we'd like to quote, strike the word amnesty from the text in all instances also replace, quote, no questions asked amnesty bin, unquote, with, quote, pesticide disposal collection program, unquote, which aligns with the language in the universal waste rules for pesticides in chapter 7, 11-273.1 Hawaii administrative rules. Well, that's the first amendment. And the second amendment, we had some testimonies bearing as far as um, the duration of the The period of time um, accepting these um, pesticides. The existing bill is 30 days. We had people asking for seven days and various other things. So, uh, what we decided to do is to uh, amend it so that it reads in section two, part B, and also in D, remove 30 days and put in the phrase the duration decided by the department. And uh, and that's it. Any concerns, questions? We haven't done it. Chair votes aye for AEN, Vice Chair. 
Um, Vice Chair Gozai, any members um, present voting with reservations or in opposition? Seeing none, motions adopted. Thank you, members. For the health committee, same recommendation, passing with amendments. Chair votes aye. Uh, Vice Chair, you're on mute. It should just be able to read my mind. <laughs> Chair votes aye. Vice Chair votes aye. Senator Mori Waki, excuse Senator Sam Buenaventura. Aye. Senator Favela is excused. Chair, your recommendation is adopted. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And this concludes our two o'clock joint hearing. Mahalo.